The Intercessory Prayer Ministry is a ministry that provides anyone a group they can turn to in time of need or crisis, um, confident that their prayers will be lifted up to God in prayer. This ministry has touched the lives of so many in not only our church and community, the nation, around the world. Um, it's reaching out to people of all faiths and some who have no church at all. The beauty of the prayer list is that you can take it with you anytime, anywhere when you're ready to pray. Several years ago, our lives went into a tailspin with the onset of some serious health issues topped off with the death of our precious daughter, Kimberly. With our younger daughter, Amy, living in England and no immediate family to lean upon, our lives were devastated. In our time of need, we turned even more to our church family for support. Imagine the uplift to our spirit when we receive a precious note from a member of the prayer ministry, reminding us that we were not alone as our God and the church loved us and were there to support us. The note reminded us that many people in our church were praying for our physical and mental health. We were so impressed by the prayer ministry that when the opportunity presented itself, we decided to join the group. Note writing was not our forte, so we volunteered to participate in the intercessory prayer activity. These volunteers have chosen to actively pray for individuals and families for whom prayers have been requested. I became a part of the church prayer ministry about five years ago when Marilyn Hartsfield stood up in our Circle of Friends Sunday School class and asked for volunteer note writers. I was still working at the time and full time and felt like writing notes was something I could do as a small way to give back for all my blessings. This ministry is very personal for me. I have been a recipient of notes and prayers, as has my mother, my brother who passed a year or so ago, and several of our friends. All of them, or members of their family, have told me how much these notes and prayers have meant to them. I'm committed to doing whatever it takes to keep the cards, notes, and prayers going. I'm proud to be a part of a church ministry that reaches out to others in genuine love and caring. It has blessed my life in ways I can't express. Shirley committed to writing weekly notes a number of years before I did. My stated reason was that business travel was too much of a conflict and when the true reason was a concern I felt that being an inability to put down in words what would be of comfort to someone who was perhaps in the darkest hours of their lives. I continued this way for a long time until one day God touched my heart with a memory from almost 30 years ago. As I walked out of Trinity on the Hill Methodist Church with my family in 1983, I saw a single individual standing outside in a light rain under an umbrella. It was my father's neighbor, Leonard Wilinski, an Orthodox Jew who, because of his faith, hesitated to go in the church. But he wanted to show his sympathy for my family and his respect for my father. He didn't speak a word. God touched my heart with a realization that it wasn't necessarily the words that I was putting on that note, but it was the fact that the recipient knew that there was someone who was thinking about them and praying for them. When I think of intercessory prayer personally, three words automatically come to mind, honor, privilege, and blessing. Prayer is a gift of love that requires only a sincere and compassionate heart. Just as Jesus interceded to God for us, intercessors intercede and lift up the needs of others to God in prayer. Truly a ministry of His love in action.